everyone, my name is Kristen and I have lost 137 pounds using a ketogenic lifestyle. Today I'm going to show you what I eat in a day. It's a full day of eating keto. But first, I wanna let you know a few things. I am 46 years old. I started my keto journey at 332 pounds and I'm 5'7 and I'm now sitting at 195 pounds. This past week has been a little bit of a challenge for me because I have not felt well, but I'm finally on the mend. I'm feeling better. So I'm gonna show you what I've been eating. I have not been in ketosis. I've been just trying to get things into my body in order to maintain my weight. It's basically what's going on. I. I made peanut butter fudge. I'm enjoying my new ninja, ninja fryer. I made my pink fluff and I will link those down below. So if you wanna go make those, you can go make those. And I'm gonna make pizza today. I'm gonna to make pizza and let my kids try it and see if they like it. Ah, my camera's falling. All right, quick change of scenery. I have a Facebook group. It's called Kristen Johns. I'm gonna link that down in the description below. And I also have an Instagram page. It's called at Keto Kid Kristen. And I'll link that in the description below. We're a very supportive group of people that help each other on our keto and weight loss journeys. All right, so I am going to discuss a few things and then we'll get into what I eat in a day and my full day of eating keto. First, I wanna thank everybody for wishing me well, your good thoughts and prayers. I really, really appreciate all the kind thoughts and kind words and the advice to help me get through this nasty virus that I have had. And it was not the virus that shall not be named. I got tested, it was negative. I haven't even told anybody yet that it was negative, but it was. And my daughter had this virus and hers was negative. So yeah, nobody had that virus, but I was still miserable. It was absolutely awful. I felt like I was swallowing knives all night long and was up every hour on the hour, but I'm on the other side of that. So thank you all. And I wanna talk about, the other thing I wanna talk about is food. Obviously food, that's all we talk about here. But what I wanna say is, the one of the and this is kind of a tip one of the reasons that i have been able to sustain being keto is because i eat food that is delicious if you want to stay keto you need to make sure that you plan and you plan to eat food that is delicious this is not a plan to eat disgusting food that you don't like you eat what you like. And when I started, I didn't have a lot of things in the house. I would go and I'd buy a steak and cheese sub and I'd eat all the steak and cheese out of it. I'd go buy an egg and cheese sandwich and I'd eat the egg and cheese and bacon out of the sandwich. And that's how I got through. And then later on, and what you're seeing now is me evolving. And I have evolved into someone that actually likes to cook food because I like to eat good food. So that's what you see in these vlogs. You see me eating food that I really like to eat. And that's what you have to do. You have to plan it out so that you have food in your house that you like to eat. So that, say, my kids have all the sugar foods in the house. Those are not off limits to them. If they're eating something, this doesn't happen to me anymore, but. If they were eating something that I thought I might want to eat, I would go get a piece of peanut butter fudge and eat it. And I, you know, that tastes just as good to me. So I want to encourage you to keep looking for, and I did, you know, I feel like I spent a lot of money, but it's okay. I, I've gotten to a place where I know what I like and it's repetitive and I feel bad sometimes that it's repetitive for you guys, but on the other hand, it's what helps me continue to lose weight. So that's why I show you. I want you to see that being repetitive and eating things that I like to eat and being able to make those foods makes it so that I can stay on this journey. So anyway, please hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell. That helps my channel grow. And without further ado, here is what I eat in a day keto, a full day of eating keto. Just a 
All right, good morning. I got Kira off to school. I have already had one Dunkachino, as I call them. They are the premier protein drink, half of a container of this. And this has five total carbs to the full one with a splash of skinny syrup. And I put that in my coffee cup and I brew two full cups of coffee. So I'm gonna have my second one of the day. I was up at 4 a.m. with Kira. So I'm trying to hold off as far, long as possible. Um, and I also have 32 ounces of water in my Bubba and I flavor that with a Mio Sport grape electrolyte and nine vitamins. That's my favorite. You're gonna see me basically eat the same thing a lot of the time. That's because I'm a I like my stuff. That's what I like to do. Um, these are absolutely adorable, this set that Katrina gave me. I'm going to use the griddle today for just the egg. See how that goes. Um, but it also has this one, which is gr great. And then the original Whopper Maker. So I'm really super excited about that set. And if you want to see me talk about getting those, I'll link that in the cards right now. But anyway, I'm going to get this all put together. I'll show you what it all looks like when I'm done. Would you stay till the morning light? Or would you follow me? Or would you let it be? If I leave tonight, we could do this right. We'll find the remedy. Or would you stay with me now till the morning light? I put a little butter in the griddle to make the egg, and I'm going to close it. See how that goes. And I'm going to pop a couple of these in the toaster. My pre-made chocolates that I made with my big waffle maker that I got. My goodness look at that so cool wow a perfect day these are cinnamon chaffles wow how cool is that I'm gonna have an egg sandwich oh that is so cool thank you so much for that and then I'm gonna have some bacon. All right, so here's my breakfast. 32 ounces of water, flavored with the Mio Sport water enhancer. Two cups of coffee. This is my second serving of two cups of coffee. And like I said, I break this up into two. So I had this earlier around 5 a.m. and now I'm having it now around 7.45 a.m. and then I'm gonna have two cinnamon chaffles. I'm gonna make that into a sandwich like that with this nifty new griddle. I made this in the griddle of the dash and then I've already had four pieces of bacon. There's only two left, but I assure you the other four pieces are in my stomach. So I'm gonna eat this up and I'll see you all in the next segment. Okay.
Okay guys, for lunch I am having two chicken drumstick bones that Jason made on the grill last night. He seasons it with the McCormick chicken seasoning and I also am having my pink jello dessert on top of jello that Jason made me. So the key here for me in order to stay keto is to eat delicious food that tastes good. Obviously delicious food tastes good, but what I mean is you need to make sure you have food prepared for you that tastes good so that you can stay on your diet, especially in the beginning. In the beginning, I went out and I bought food at the store. I would go buy a steak and cheese and just eat the, eat the steak and cheese off the bun, but now, I'm much better at preparing things so that I can have stuff like this for lunch. So I'm going to eat, Mom. hold on. So I'm going to eat this up and I'll see you all in the next segment. Okay, so I am going to make pepperoni pizza today for dinner. These are all the ingredients that you need. You need Italian seasoning, a little bit of salt, Philadelphia cream cheese, some almond flour, pepperonis, mozzarella cheese, and an egg. I'm going to put the link to the directions in the description, so go check that out. So I'm going to get this all mixed together, the first step, and I will show you. So the first thing I'm gonna cream cheese in the mozzarella cheese together for 30 seconds in the microwave. I'm going to mix this together. Here up. Steal in the pepperoni. Me one, me one. Kira keeps trying to steal the pepperoni. She wants the pepperoni. I said we need to put it on the pizza, right Kira? I need to have ice. You need help with ice? Okay, Mama's going to mix this and help you with ice. Okay, so you want it fully incorporated together like this so it's like one big ball of cheese so sometimes you might have to microwave it a little bit longer i did because the ch all cheese are different so the next step is to put you want to put almond flour so you need three quarters of a cup of almond flour i'm using bob's red mill I put a teaspoon of Italian seasoning in, and then I also put a teaspoon of garlic powder in. So I'm gonna put that in, and then I'm gonna mix all of that together again. So I'll show you that in a minute. All right, so I, ha I got the this all incorporated together, and now I'm going to press it out into a pizza circle. The best way to do this is to use two hands so i'm gonna have to put my phone down and to use your hands so i'll be right back so here is the dough all rolled out and i'm gonna put it in the air i'm gonna put it in the air fryer for 10 minutes at 425 or until lightly golden brown so there it is cooking in the air fryer for 10 minutes and I might flip it when it's done because it says it gets a crunchier or crispier crust if you do that so all right we'll let that cook and I'll come back All right, so I did flip it. I'm not sure if you can tell that that's the brown, that's the bottom. Halfway through I flipped it, and now I'm going to, hopefully that'll make it so it's a nice crunchy pizza. All right, so here is, here's the crust. I'm going to let that cool for a minute, and then I'm gonna put some Rouse Margarita or Margarita pizza sauce on yes okay so I put pizza sauce 
on the pizza. You can put as much as you want. I like a lot, so I put a lot. And now I'm gonna put some mozzarella on top. Alright guys, here is the final product. I'm going to cut it, or attempt to cut it. Kira, do you want some pizza? You want to try some of Mama's pizza? Hold on. Alright guys, this is, this is my dinner. Two pieces of fat kid, no, fat head dough, pepperoni pizza, and I'm going to pair it with a piece of my peanut butter fudge. I will link that recipe in the description. Please press like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you get notified when I upload. All right, thanks so much for watching and have a great day.